Hello everyone, Bill here again. As I do every year, I'm doing my Answer My Critics for 2013. I do this every year, so if you're a regular follower of my uh, channel here, you know what I'm doing right now. Um, my biggest video this year was the Nobu and 2013. I got well over a thousand hits on that one, and it actually answered a lot of people's questions. And once again, as I predicted in 2012, they're still talking about Nabooru, and it seems like it's always out there, but never seems to get here. Well, of course, it was actually um, three separate events. Um, it was uh, two asteroids and a comet this year. The two asteroids, of course, were much earlier in the year, and then um, what we looked at in October and November was uh, Ison, and that is the comet that we saw. And by the way, uh, this is actually something I picked up at my local grocery store. Okay, and here's a kind of a funny thing. With the Comet Ison, um, what had happened was is that um, it was supposed to basically um, come near Earth. We would have seen it. I actually saw it once. Okay, and then slingshot around the sun and then head back out into the solar system. Um, back in September or October, something like that, the science channel not the sci-fi channel the science channel was actually initially going to do a five or six part video series on tracking the comet ison but the funny thing is is that um they only wound up doing uh probably only two episodes and then they eventually combined it into one episode i actually caught it in uh, early december what had happened with the comet ison is it was slowly going through the solar system the few um, uh, the telescopes that we have in space, they actually turn to it. Matter of fact, the two Range Rovers that are on Mars, they actually turned their, uh, their um, cameras up to the sky, but they really couldn't get anything. But the telescope and the observation telescope that was in Mars tried to catch somewhat of it. And again, we saw a little bit of it from Earth. Okay, But as it was clo running closer and closer to the sun, they found out that it was actually slowly breaking apart. It did eventually make it around the sun, but totally disintegrated before it even got to the orbit of what would be Mercury. So basically, Ison basically dissolved. So what the Science Channel did was combine a couple of the episodes together to make one episode. And like I said, there was nothing left to it. So there was no Nibiru. It was Ison. And by the way... I plan to do one last and final video on the whole Nuburu thing, and then I'm never going to mention it again. The other big um, video that was real popular this year was my video on, Is Pope Francis the Antichrist? Which, of course, I believe he is not, of course, but everyone's screaming and hollering that he is. And actually, I got quite a bit of flack from that video, which I'm going to talk about here in just a second. But again, you know, uh, I also got quite a number of new subscribers from that because they saw my video basically showing that, no, he's not. And by the way, please check out my other video I did many, many years ago on who is the Antichrist. And I'll uh, put that all that information here at the bottom of the screen here. Um, what I got flack from Pope Francis was actually by the man of Mike for Dogma. And I actually did a video response to him because he kept sending me videos and he commented on my Pope Francis video. Well, the funny thing is, is that, you know, he basically told me that I wasn't saved. Well, I responded in kind and declared that, no, I am saved. And I had the Bible verses that I did. And I have that video, Mike for Dogma. Please do check that out. And again, what I did was I used a Catholic Bible from 1610 and pulled out these salvation verses that I use for my life. And, of course, he didn't like that so much. He withdrew all of his statements, and <laughs> he's not bothering me anymore. So, once again, ladies and gentlemen, as I always say, when it comes to the Bible, don't wait for the movie. Read the book. Okay, and, of course, um, I didn't do a video on this, but I'm going to in the near future. Harold Camping is dead. He died on December 17th. Uh, 2013. He died this year, or at least in the year of 2013. And the thing is, is that, um, you know, he is dead, and there was actually quite a number of people that recorded this. 
Um, and for those who don't remember who he was, back in 2011, he declared that Jesus was going to come back and the world was going to be destroyed in 2011. Well, obviously, now it's 2013, almost 2014 now. Obviously, it didn't happen. Of course, now, like I said, Harold Camping is dead. And yes, I do plan to do a video for him about him in 2014, but we'll wait till we get there. So thank you all very much. I have many more videos that are ready to go here in 2014. So see you all in 2014. And please, please do check out my other videos here on YouTube and on my channel. Thank you all and see you all in 2014.